Scott Lauber for the Boston Herald here at JetBlue Park after another Red Sox workout here at spring training. And let's give you a quick Red Sox Cuba recent history. Okay, the Red Sox bid for Jose Abreu, the uh, first baseman who's gone on to have a really good rookie year last year with the Chicago White Sox. They bid for him and they lost, barely. Uh, they came less than $5 million short of signing him. This was two years ago. So last year the Red Sox delved into the Cuba market a little bit by signing Rusne Castillo to a $72 million contract. He is of course the center fielder who is projected to be on the opening day roster this year and be a big part of this team. That came after they had traded for Yoenis Cespedes, another Cuban player, uh, a couple of months earlier in the John Lester deal. Cespedes got traded for Rick Porcello this winter and now the Red Sox have dived back into Cuba again. Today they have uh, they have come close now to reaching an agreement with Yoan Moncada, who is a 19-year-old infielder, a very highly touted prospect out of Cuba. They outbid the Yankees uh, and a number of other teams, and uh, now really all that stands between Moncada and a deal with the Red Sox is a physical. That could take place as early as this week. We could have an announcement this week. and. Cue the excitement again over the Red Sox signing another Cuban player. This one is a little bit different. As I said, he's 19 years old, which means he's not ready for the big leagues just yet. He's going to start in the minor leagues uh, and work his way through the system just like any other minor leaguer. But clearly, when you spend $30 million to sign a player, and it's actually doubled because the Red Sox have gone over their international bonus allotment, bonus pool allotment from last year. So it's really a $60 million investment, $60 plus million investment in Moncada. You're obviously serious about this player. Now where he'll play, that's another matter all, uh, entirely. He's a second baseman naturally in Cuba, uh, also plays a little shortstop. Now as we know, the Red Sox are well taken care of at second base with Dustin Pedroia. And at shortstop with Xander Bogarts, who they still believe is going to be a star in this league, there's some discussion uh, among scouts that I've talked to from other teams who've seen Moncada that he's going to outgrow the infield anyway, or at least the middle infield, might have to move to a first base, third base, perhaps a corner outfield. Regardless, the Red Sox have time to figure all that out. He's not coming to the big league team right away, and so a lot of things can change by the time he's ready to get here. But that's the news of the day is the Red Sox have gone back into Cuba and taken Yoan Moncada, outbidding the Yankees, and... Uh, and that's something that uh, we'll be talking about, I'm sure, over the next few days and really throughout the week here in Red Sox camp as, he, uh, as that deal is made official. So right now for the Boston Herald, I'm Scott Lauber. Please check out more on Moncada and Cuba and the Red Sox in tomorrow's Boston Herald. Have a great day.